communism has not been convicted of state, but the church has recognized more than 1,700 holy martyrs of this time. I mean in Russia, not in Romania. Father Daniel Sandu Tudor, a Romanian martyr, received a paper when he was in, uh, in prison to write a defense of the communist system. But he has written uh, dozens of page, pages of his criticism, uh, and when it ended, uh, he was killed by the communists. The communist system was not only a dictatorship like any other, his uh, deep nature was spiritual. spiritual. Uh, the evidence shows that uh, the most terrible tortures were applied to those who refused to renounce their faith, who was behind the atrocities in Pitesht, was not hatred of men against his neighbor, but hate of the devil. Now, you, you see uh, an icon, uh, it is very big, about uh, four meter uh, and five. And uh, this icon uh, shows what happened in the communist uh, uh, prisons. And I'll talk, I'll talk to, you, to, to you about the communist re-education. Definition, definition, principles, steps, tools, and results of it. The Pitesh experiment, Pitesh is a town in Romania. Uh, this experiment is shocking. The re-education re through tor torture, uh, which lasted from uh, 1949 to to 1952, about three years, it discovers how far human nature can fall. Those who did not change their mind and remain normal people were those who believed in God. Basically, the plan consisted in introducing into cells of two to three prisoners, torturers who had the mission to probe the mood of other inmates. At one moment, chosen by the prison, the torturers started to beat the reactionaries, uh, careless supervision of guards. After the prisoner concerned was re-educated, he had the task to mistreat his best friend or colleague. Some of the victims have forgotten not only the name of those who tortured them and of the investigators, but their own names too. Some of them have not been able to recognize their relatives. What is re-education? One of the martyrs, John Yanoride, answers. The re-education, the communist re-education, uh, is the biggest enemy of the God and of the soul. They, and, uh, I mean God and human soul, must be destroyed first. Communism seeks dominance over the soul. The soul must be destroyed. It can be not be submitted. Religion, art, science, ideas, feelings, all must be destroyed and replaced with ideas, laws, and science of historical materialism. The result is a man monster, a man demon. Re-education is demonizing human soul, his mutilation, the loss of freedom, absolute slavery. The professor Makarenko, follower of Marx, believed that rehabilitation is done by the community and not from teacher to students. Makarenko tells us thankful that uh, there was never any student stabbed by him, but he organized terror by poisoning the community students and their transformation into tortures. I need now uh, the help of Father Kevin to explain something. Yes. Please, please come here. Because it's a little difficult. Uh, Makarenko was the director. Makarenko was the manager. When the kids are brought to him, the kids were don't behave. Uh, he didn't give them no punish, but they, he put them to sleep with the, with the other kids. But uh, during the night, all the other kids are trying to give him a correction a physical correction to the newcomer. After, after two or three nights, 
So that's re-education what the kids give to other kids, physical, very aggressive. Those kids became like angels. So re-education means uh, to transform a man through torture. We estimate that the total number who have undergone the experiment of Pitesht in three years is between 1,000 and 5,000 uh, people. All uh, were about 20 to 25 years for students. It's considered uh, the largest and most intensive program of, of brainwashing to torture in Eastern Bloc. In this icon, you, you saw what happened there in Pitesht. It was uh, terrible for three years, and uh, there were some of them who uh, survived and uh, did become uh, became uh, uh, torturers, uh, and uh, but, uh, but others uh, became uh, very 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 bad, bad persons. Uh, now we have about 10 examples of spiritual personalities in the, the communist prisons. We will show you how some of them became saints. First of all, is Saint Ilar Lepdotush. He was a priest. Uh, he lived from uh, 1909 uh, until uh, 22 uh, July 1983. Uh, here we have, we have uh, his, uh, his tomb in Bucharest. He died in, uh, in 1983 and he said, uh, if my wife uh, will die 15 years uh, after me, uh, then uh, you should uh, see what happened, happened with my, uh, my body. And they found this. Personally, uh, happened to me four miracles with the prayers of this uh, saint. I was a student in uh, Bucharest, and uh, someday one of my uh, teachers told, uh, told us to go to this cemetery, it's a cemetery in, in Bucharest, uh, to go to see this new, uh, that, that new saint. Uh, we went to the cemetery, we saw uh, the holy relics, uh, and uh, after that, we, uh, I and my wife became very close friends with, uh, with uh, his daughter, uh, Miss Maria. Uh, she passed away a few years ago, but we, uh, uh, we know from her very, very many things uh, about the life of Saint uh, uh, Eli. He was a, a common priest, a very good one. Uh, he was arrested in 1952 and sent to the general Danube Black Sea, the brigade of priests for extermination. He, is, uh, uh, he, he, he falls ill and he moved to Turgovna. Uh, after that, after two years he was released. Uh, then he was arrested again in 1959 and assigned to work at Periprava colony in the, in the Danube Delta. And he died in 1983 uh, from cancer. Now the the miracles that happened in my family. Uh, when we were students, uh, before uh, Christmas, we went to his uh, uh, to, 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 we went to the holy relics to uh, take the, his his blessing before going to at home uh, because I'm I'm from a city that is uh, 200 kilometers away from Bucharest and. Uh, we were worried because uh, until then, uh, my wife and I, uh, we haven't uh, uh, kids. And uh, uh, his daughter, Maria, uh, told us that uh, she'll pray, she'll pray uh, uh, with her, her father to the God uh, in order to, uh, to have uh, us uh, kids. Uh, and uh, before uh, uh, leaving, she gave us some flowers that were uh, uh, there, there by a woman uh, ten, uh, 10 minutes ago. That flowers uh, were for five months in my, in my home uh, 
until the Easter. Blessing. 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 Uh, and we change only the daughter for five uh, months. Uh, his daughter Maria uh, told us that uh, the next time we will come to venerate the relics of uh, Saint Elia will be uh, uh, with uh, our uh, our kid. Uh, after seven years, because our life changed, we we. Uh, went to, to, to Greece, but the first time when he, we, we went to, to see St. Elia, we were uh, together with my, my daughter Maria, and then he was, he, she was three years old. The second of the four Marxists is Valerio Gafen. He lived uh, uh, from 1921 uh, until 18 February, February 1952. Uh, he died 31 uh, years old. He was born in Singare City in the Basarabia. In 1940, he became a student of the Faculty of Law in Yash. In autumn 1941, when he was arrested and sentenced to uh, 25 years hard labor, Valer Gafenko was 20 years old. His professor of civil law, Angelescu, uh, said uh, in court this, uh, Gafenko, uh, he is one of the best students that I had through my whole career. Young Valerio Gafenko reached the uh, Turbo Ogna in, Tur in December 1949. Uh, here in Turbo Ogna, here, uh, there is a prison for uh, people who has uh, tuberculosis. Uh, there, there in the, in the back, uh, uh, still exists uh, th this uh, prison. Uh, they brought uh, about uh, 100 uh, people who were uh, uh, prisoners and, uh, and uh, they had uh, tuberculosis. And they, they told uh, them, if you reject your faith in Christ, you will receive uh, medication. If not, you will die about your uh, illness. So, uh, all of them died in big pains. Uh, and uh, here uh, we have a, a small cemetery. And it uh, is not uh, their cemetery. They were buried without cross, without, without service, uh, in the left uh, part of, the, of this uh, cemetery. We have uh, uh, there a cross with uh, the names uh, of them uh, written. The first on list is Valerio Gafen. Uh, said student, 1921-1952. So, because to uh, torture and bestial regime in communist prisons, he reached in prison center in Tilburg in a condition so severe that it, uh, his survival for two years until 18 February 1952 can be considered a miracle. He knew his, uh, his death day on, uh, on uh, February 2nd, uh, 1952, he asked, uh, I mean, uh, two weeks before he, uh, his death, he asked his comrades to buy a candle and a white shirt, which was ready for him on the 18th February of that year. Uh, on this day, between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m., of the moments of uh, incandescent prayer, Valero said his last words, Lord, give me the slavery uh, that free, frees the soul and take away of me the freedom that hurts my soul. Reverend Gheorghe uh, Halcu, who was uh, uh, Reverend in Washington, D.C., a Romanian priest, also a martyr of the communist uh, regime, said, said, we have no bigger saint, saint that, than Valeriu Gafen. Uh, he was known as the saint of the prisons, all, all of the prisoners, told about him uh, as a saint. His spiritual testament for us was go on the spirit, the spirit of, of uh, uh, Christianity. Uh, he said, who says he is a Christian should, be, should behave like a Christian. I am not judge, judging others, 
but I am the confessor of God. Through, through, uh, truth is love that sacrifices for the poor and persecuted. On this list, on the bottom we have a name. Says Savu Florica, uh, she was a, a student, a student in high school, and uh, she lived from uh, 1920 to 1950. So when she died, 1930, when when she died, she was 20 years uh, uh, old. Uh, she died about tuberculosis. That means when she uh, entered in the in the prisons, she was about 15, 16 years. Old. What she did uh, wrong, nothing. Just uh, confessing her faith in Christ. The third is John Yanolina. This man <clears throat> lived from 1919 to 1986. He was the best friend of uh, Valery Gafenko. He was born in the city of Budapest. Uh, we, know, we know very few about his life. Uh, and he was known as the best friend or disciple of Valery Gafenko. He made law, law school in Bucharest, but could not finish, finish because in 1941, as a member of the Cross Brotherhood, all of them, of them were, were members of this uh, Brotherhood. He was arrested and imprisoned for 10, uh, 23 years in various prisons in Ayud, in Pitech, in Tergoma. He died on February uh, 5th, 1986, by cancer. In December 20, uh, 2006, 20 years after his death, uh, was published uh, his book, Return to Christ, this is the last photo before he, he died. There you go. He is, here is the, his tomb. Uh, it's written on, on that cross, everything in Christ. It's very specific for that. This is in Bucharest. Everything in Christ. Yeah. This is his book. Uh, he did write that book as a book. He wanted, he was uh, ill uh, of cancer, and he wanted to leave his testimony to the next, uh, for, for the next uh, generation. And uh, uh, he wrote uh, uh, Mystic at night on some papers uh, his, uh, his uh, testimony, and after uh, that he uh, sent all, all these papers in, the, in uh, Switzerland, and after that in the in, uh, in United States, and after his, uh, his death, uh, they sent all these papers in, in Romania and uh, was published in his book, Return to Christ. Uh, this is the, the translation of his book in Greek. I made this uh, translation. And the Greeks were very happy to, 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 to meet uh, through the, that book, the, the New Martyrs of Romania. And uh, you will see. Uh, what what uh, the Greek people did for, for them. Uh, four. 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 This is Father Georgi Kalchu Dimitrias. He lived uh, from 1925 to, to 21, 21st of November 2006. He, he said, in jail, without God, without prayer, without forgiveness, you could not survive. He was uh, for 21 years in, uh, in, in prison. And uh, after that, he, he was then, then just, uh, just a student in uh, uh, medical school. After uh, he escaped from, from uh, the prison, uh, he, uh, he studied theology, became, became uh, a priest, 
Uh, and, uh, and then he came in, in America, in Washington, D.C. And a few, few years ago, he uh, passed away. Uh, he was a very, very big confessor. Uh, after he, he became a, a priest, uh, in the, he was a professor of uh, French in the Theological Seminary in, in Bucharest. Uh, and uh, in 1974, uh, 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 Great Land. Great Land. He, when what, it was the Great Land, he uh, every week on the, on Wednesday he told uh, to the, the kids to the, uh, about about what means what really means the uh, the, the communism. For this, he was incarcerated for the second time, uh, and then. Uh, uh, he uh, he escaped, escaped, escaped from uh, from prison and uh, left for the United States. This is Father Arsenia Papachok. He passed away in 2011, last year, and. Uh, he was uh, one of the greatest, uh, greatest confessors of, uh, in, in Romania. From uh, his, uh, his life, to mention some, some words of him, uh, a nation, said, said uh, Father Stenius, uh, lives in the fighting, is staying on the cross without the attic. Uh, I knew him, knew him personally in uh, uh, in Romania. He had the eyes of a, of a child. He was very very brave and always uh, told uh, the, the, the truth. And uh, uh, although he was in prison for, for so many years, he died uh, when he was 95 years old. This is Mrs. Aspasia Oțel Bredescu. Uh, here we have an, a line from, uh, from the time when she was in, uh, in prison. Uh, she, she lives uh, uh, now in, in Moldavia. She is about seven, uh, 70 years uh, old. Uh, she's a very faithful, faithful woman. Uh, what happened? Uh, They put her in a prison, in the damn dungeon. With her hands tied on her back. With uh, handcuffs. handcuffs. Uh, they're very special. If you try to move them, they're going to be more, more tight in your, in your hands. It was dark. And in the dark, she saw that they were going to be and in the dark she saw that the floor was moving. Nu era podeaua, ci erau foarte mulți șobani. It was on the floor, as many rats. Și-a dat seama she realized că o să o mănânce șobani. They are going to try to eat your life. Pentru că au pus acolo pentru cinci zile. And because she was there with the rats for five days. Și a strigat atunci, Doamne, nu mă lăsa. And she cried out, Lord, don't let me go. In momentul acela, totul în jur s-a făcut o lumină albă. In that moment, everything around her became to be light. A pierdut contactul cu realitatea. She was outside of reality, a different reality. Și doar după cinci zile când au deschis ușa, au găsit-o în rugășul. And after five days, when they opened the door, they found her praying. In this state. In this state of prayer. And she was all safe. Yeah. One more example. One more example. Uh, Parintele uh, Sandu Tudor. Father Sandu Tudor. Uh, a fost trimis în un subsol. He was sent in a basement. Cu încă un deținut. To another prisoner. Pe podea erau 30 de centimetri de fecală. And on the floor there are 30 centimeters of... I don't even know how to translate. 
uh, human uh, human yeah yes measurement table bathroom you are all 30 30 degrees minus 30 degrees minus 30 degrees și trebuie să stai acolo 7 zile. He was supposed to stay there for 7 days. Părintele, părintele Daniel era mort, era mort. Father Daniel was fireman. S-a pus jos în semnul crucii cu mâinile așa. And he kneeled down in front of the cross laying on the floor, his hands open. I-a spus doctorului să stea la fel pe spatele lui cu mâinile întinse. And he said to the other one, who was a doctor, to lay on him on his back. With the wall wide open and sign of the cross, but back to back. Back to back. Yes. She says, "Come on, Dora, tell the Lord, Mr. Christos, to be rich, be rich, be rich." And just say only this: "O Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy of me, a sinner." After a few minutes, a brought the same light as the Lord Spazia. After a few minutes, the same light came back on, like the same the other lady before, the lady in Spazia. She was almost a pious person. And they stayed like that at that stage for 14 days. Fără mâncare, no food, fără apă, no drink, fără haine, no clothes, la minus 30 de grade. Minus 30 degrees Celsius. După, 30, după două săptămâni au venit să ia cadavrul. And after two weeks they come to take the bodies. They thought they were dead. Totul în jur era tupit. Everything around them was melted. Everything around them. Și trupul celor doi erau fierbiți. And the body of those, they are very hot, very good temperature, and they are very healthy. Thank you. Next one is Father Monk. He was a monk. He died in uh, 28 February 1999 in the monastery Sivestria. Where it was, where was it in the Father Claude also? He wasn't a monk in when he was in prison, but he was very, very brave. He has a very, very solid physical constitution, and after they were beating him up, when he returned, returned into the cell, he always said. What I did then, what I did to, to them, they couldn't uh, uh, do me anything. And he was very, very uh, big. Uh, after that, he became a, a monk, and uh, we uh, uh, hope that uh, uh, today he's one of the saints of the God. The next one is Father Gerasim Isco. In the same uh, <coughs> town, Trigorna, uh, where it was, uh, he, uh, where was Valdo uh, and Ioan Avila, happened uh, uh, this this fact. On uh, 26 December 1951, I mean 60 years ago, it was the night before Christmas. Father uh, Gerasim was very ill; he was dying. Uh, on this paper, uh, it's uh, written "Love your enemies," and what he uh, he did uh, in the same room with he with, with him uh, was uh, and another pers person who was uh, dying who was the, per the person who, who tortured tortured him in the in the, in the past. Uh, before dying, Father Yerasim. Uh, Wanted to go to go to his uh, to his uh, bed. Uh, they uh, two persons brought him to uh, the other the other person, and uh, he said, "I know that Christ is better than me and, uh, and you. I forgive you with all my heart, and I, I know that the Christ will forgive you also." Until then, uh, that person uh, was very very uh, uh, bad. He. Was yeah, he was swearing. Uh, at, the, at that moment, he uh, told Father Yasin that he wanted to make a confession. Uh, he confessed, and uh, in the uh, in that night, uh, both uh, departed from uh, for Kant. They passed away uh, together, uh, and uh, in this case, uh, we we see what means the love of. 
enemies. Before Baruch van der Rustin, we have a, a fact uh, uh, from Pitesh, from the prison of, of Pitesh, uh, about Nietzsche Cornet. This was a, a young boy, 19 years old. Uh, what happened? They, uh, they started to, to, to beat them, to torture them, and after one uh, a week, uh, he, uh, they had an uh, inspection. They had an inspection. Uh, some uh, Jew who, who was very, very big in the communist uh, uh, hierarchy, uh, he uh, he uh, came to, to to the prison to see what uh, are they doing, uh, and he asked them, "What are you doing? We are fine." The, they were very, very uh, wounded. 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 Uh, and uh, this this uh, guy, this uh, uh, young man, this uh, made a, a, a step ahead and said, "You don't see, we, we are very wounded. They are trying to, to kill us." Uh, then the, this uh, Jew answered him, uh, "You are all here because we want to kill uh, to kill you. Uh, uh, until now." Uh, we didn't we didn't touch touch to you very very uh, very much, but you see what will ha happen. Uh, after that, uh, the Jew uh, uh, left, and they uh, uh, they took they they, they took uh, the young uh, Cornelius uh, and uh, they put him with the uh, with the legs uh, uh, up, uh, and they uh, they. Uh, Stroke his head uh, until he, he died, and after he died. Yeah. Father Justin Pern, she lives, uh, he lives, uh, uh, he's still alive. He, he's still alive. Now he, he is uh, the, the biggest confessor in, uh, in my, in my speech speech of father. Yes. Yes. speech of father. And, um, with his, his, with his blessing, I'm uh, now here in uh, in America. Uh, Father uh, Justin was uh, a monk when they arrested him, uh, and he was in uh, in, uh, in a prison for 20 uh, years. Uh, after that, he uh, returned in his uh, village and he made a monastery. That monastery uh, today is the center of the. Of the Orthodoxy in the, the, the monastic Orthodoxy in uh, Romania. This is a very good picture of Father Christian. Now he is uh, 95 years old. Uh, he goes every night in, uh, in the church. They have uh, uh, services from uh, 1 a.m. to uh, 5, 5 a.m. Uh, when I knew him, uh, in one morning, uh, about uh, 5:30, he invited uh, us, me and my wife, in his uh, uh, in his room. And uh, before uh, speaking, before uh, saying what is my name and uh, what uh, I want, he uh, spoke about five minutes. In these five minutes, he told uh, me all about his uh, all about my life, and he. Uh, solve all my problems that were in my soul. After that, he uh, asked me, what, what do you want from me? Do you want to ask, uh, to, to, to ask something, something? No, I, I don't have uh, something to ask, because uh, everything is uh, solved. He, he has very, uh, very much uh, spiritual uh, uh, power. Uh, about one year ago, he was, in, he was very ill. He, was, he had the very big uh, Fever. He was in Cluj, and um, they, they they couldn't uh, help him. Uh, they thought that uh, he'll he'll die. But uh, uh, one of his uh, disciples, Father Augustine, you see him. Uh, he's from uh, from Ayud. Uh, came with uh, uh, a head of uh, one of one uh, new mattress. Uh, this head has uh, on the on the, on the skull has the, the signs of the tortures. Uh, they tortured him with a, with a stick that had in the, in the, 
in the top uh, uh, names. And then they, uh, they uh, perforate. Uh, and they lose out? They hit them. They, they hit, uh, hit them with, with this, uh, this stick in, in, in the head. Uh, and uh, uh, Father Augustine brought that, that, uh, that uh, head to the, to the hospital. He uh, blessed uh, Father uh, Justin uh, three times with, uh, that, with that relics. And after uh, half an hour, uh, Father Justin was perfectly uh, normal and uh, okay. This is Gheorghe Jimboi. Gheorghe Jimboi, he is a, uh, one icon uh, there on the, on the table with uh, Saint Valerio. Uh, this, uh, he, he was a man of, the, uh, uh, of prayer. He said, he said very often, uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, the uh, Son of God, the uh, prayer of the heart. Uh, yes, but the prayer of the heart. Uh, he died in Ayut, in the prison of uh, Ayut. Uh, he died by, by uh, uh, starving. By, by starving. And uh, with his help, one of the of his friends, who uh, in, in some moment uh, they, uh, he, he was uh, he was asked, uh, "Do you believe? Do you still believe in God?" Uh, and he. Uh, told to the, the communists, uh, I, uh, I'm not praying. Uh, the, the mistake was that uh, that man, uh, Dimitri Bordoyanu, uh, was his name, uh, from that moment uh, uh, stopped uh, uh, praying. And he uh, uh, demonized. He, he, became, he became demonized. With uh, the prayers of Gheorghe Zimboyu, the devils uh, in one uh, Easter night, uh, after uh, five, after four years, the demons of the, the man uh, uh, yes. left uh, left him, and he uh, uh, he uh, survived the, the the prison. He died about uh, three, ten years ago, and he told uh, uh, us about the example of this uh, this young man, Georgi Boy. He died in 1963. This is the, the icon that I brought, brought you. Uh, and just one more example. It was in the year 1951 in a uh, mine. In a mine uh, of Bias Prie in Transylvania. Uh, there were about uh, 500 uh, people uh, working uh, uh, there in the, in the mine. Uh, in the big uh, Friday uh, before uh, uh, Easter, uh, they uh, received meat for, for food, but they, uh, they said no, he, they con confessed all, and they... Uh, they, they, land. They, keep land. They, they, keep, they keep land. And in the night of the, of the resurrection of the Christ, uh, there in the heart of the the mountain in the mine, they uh, uh, done the resurrection service. Uh, they had no cross, no uh, no vestments, uh, but from uh, two woods uh, they made made a cross. Uh, from a from a tower, from a tower they made the uh, epitra hills. Uh, they knew uh, the holy service of uh, resurrection, and uh, there, uh, in, in, the, in the mine, they, they uh, done the, the resurrection service, and Father Justin Purpup was present uh, at that time in the, in the mine, says uh, uh, that uh, never uh, before, the, before and after uh, he didn't lift so, uh, so uh, intensively the resurrection of God, uh, like, like, like uh, there in the mine in Paris period. This is Father Sofian Boyu. Uh, just one uh, thing about him. He uh, was uh, a confessor in a uh, monastery in Bucharest, and uh, he made uh, a movement 
uh, uh, the, the burning bush. The burning bush, uh, governor of praying uh, with many intellectuals. Uh, all of them uh, then uh, were arrested, uh, but the, the most of them uh, went out of the, of the prison. He died a few years ago. He was a very, very holy man. And uh, I know this from, from the best uh, of my friends, who, who was uh, a disciple of this, uh, this father, uh, Sofian. And he told me that uh, when prayed, this, uh, this uh, father, Sofian, when he prayed, he levitated. He levitated. Many times. This is the prison of Ayud. Ayud is a small town in Transylvania. Uh, near this uh, prison, uh, today uh, exists uh, a small monastery. This is a church. Uh, a strange church. Uh, it has uh, 14 uh, crosses uh, above, uh, and one big the, the big, the big cross means the, the cross of the, uh, the Romanian people, uh, and the 14 are the 14 examples of the martyrs. This is a guy from, from my group. Uh, entering in, into, the, in, into the, uh, the church, there are steps steps from the, from the door uh, until, uh, until the, the altar, uh, and uh, on the walls are the names of all who, who died in, the, in all of the prisons, uh, communist prisons in Romania. Uh, under the, the, the altar, uh, but the, 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 the front door, no, the, the entrance. The entrance is, is uh, from, from outside. There is a, a room with holy uh, ranks. Uh, this is a project how we, uh, they wanted to, to, to construct a, a big monastery. Uh, now they are doing the, the, the new church, uh, but this is for, for the, the future. Yes. So, uh, not all of the people who died in, in, that, in that prison are saints. But uh, a few of them uh, who have to uh, have uh, holy relics, uh, and we know that they, they are relics uh, uh, of color and uh, weight, uh, and they, uh, they are making miracles. Uh, uh, this, these these holy relics are in this uh, this room. Uh, in the in the middle, there is an icon of the of the Mother of the God with two candles and. Uh, of, of this candle, candles, uh, the Christians are uh, receiving uh, holy oil, uh, which uh, may, makes uh, very, very uh, miracles. Uh, I brought uh, with me some uh, some little bottles, if you want. It's, it's very, very uh, blessed uh, oil. This is a, a hat, uh, a half of a hat of a new martyrist. Uh, how he died? Uh, they, uh, <coughs> they, cut. They, they cut his, uh, his head with an uh, electric uh, uh, screw. Um, with electric, electric screw. tool yes. yeah. from here until here and then from here to here. Uh, he, here it was his, uh, his face, uh, now it doesn't exist. But we did it. We we did it this. We we put this relic in in a special container. In a special special container. Container. Uh, and um, this is Father Augustine, the disciple of uh, Father Sarah, uh, Father Justin Burgo. Uh, and uh, this. Uh, This work. This work was made in, in Greece. The, the Christians uh, are there have uh, uh, much much love for this uh, 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 I have some uh, here uh, at 
the end, two or three miracles. Uh, other Well, the father received three holy relics from my youth. Ocosta, uh, a rib, a vertebra, a spine bone, Shoklavico. and I don't know what to translate. Uh, uh, bone from the shoulder, yes. Uh, ajut la București și un alt preot i-a cerut să-i dea și lui din Sintra Moște. And he received a good press, another priest asked him to share with him some of the relics. Și a dat una din cele trei. He gave him one of these those three. Preotul acesta era preot la unitate militară. Într-o zi a vrut să facă paraclisul mai Domnului și s-a dus la biserică să vadă dacă erau candelele aprinse pentru că trimisese un om ca să le aprindă. Dar a văzut că biserica n-a închisă. S-a dus să-l caute pe paraclisier și l-a găsit dormind. Și l-a întrebat, de ce dorm? Te-am trimis să-ți schizi biserica. El a spus că, dintr-o dată, ar trebui să doarmă. L-a trimis la biserică și a zis că va veni după 10 minute. Când s-a dus la biserică, a găsit-o din nou închisă. S-a întors în camera unde era paraclisierul și l-a găsit dormind. L-a trezit, iar acesta i-a spus ce a visat. Am visat doi tineri îmbrăcați în haine albe care au spus să nu faceți racălă de aur ci din argint. Și au spus dimensiunile cum să fie acest om nu știa, nu avea de unde să știe de Sfintele Moștri. Pentru că preotul le-a dus să-i pozi înainte. Și nu spus să-i nimeni. Și, interesant este că au spus materii toate dimensiunile cum să fie făcută rău. And this is very interesting that the holy, holy martyrs has mentioned to this man, the captain of the church, the dimensions of the of the rock. And they didn't want it to be from gold, but from silver. A doua minune, the second miracle, a man was sick with cancer in Bucharest. And the doctor didn't want to uh, offer a surgery. E fără sens să Va muri. Surorile lui au venit la Iud, 500 de kilometri, cu un taxi. Foarte scump. S-au rugat pentru fratele lor. Aceasta se întâmpla în ianuarie 2010. Au luat un de lemn, s-au întors la București, and they came back to București la un pe cap, they put oil on his head. a doua zi a venit doctorul și a hotărât totuși să fie operat. A fost operat and he was, yeah, the surgery being done. și după trei luni, a venit cu surorile lui, conducând mașina, fără nicio problemă, a venit să mulțumească Sfința. Și încă o minune, două vrăjitoare, 
din un sat. Au venit la preotul din sat. Care avea moaște de la Iud. Dar nu știa nimeni. Pentru că în România ei nu sunt canonizați încă. În sinodul țării mai sunt persoane care sunt foarte împotriva lor. Niciun episcop nu a fost în închisoare cu Mestre. Și părintele moaștele respective nu le ținea în biserică, ci acasă. Și au venit vrăjitoare și au spus. Dacă scoți afară din casă ceea ce ai acolo, îți dăm 500 de mii de dolari. We give you five hundred thousand dollars. No dollars. Like it was euro. 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 Dollars. Big sum. Of money. Yeah. She asked the priest, "Do you know what this is about?" And the priest said, "What is all about?" She gave a response. "Sunt acei sfinți care ne ard pe noi și nu putem să ne facem lucrare." We can't do our job because of that. Preotul le-a refuzat și după o săptămână, cele două vrăjitoare au plecat din sat definitiv. În concluzie, în secolul al XX-lea au fost mușenici în toate țările comuniste Aproape 75 de milioane de oameni. Cei mai mulți în Rusia. Care au fost chinuiți foarte mult. Și care majoritatea dintre ei nu s-au legodat de credința lor. Și aș încheia cu un exemplu. O doamnă din București s-a dus la Pitești, unde a fost acea închisoare îngrozitoare, despre care am menționat, și s-a interesat, astăzi nu mai este închisoare acolo, și s-a interesat ce s-a întâmplat lângă închisoare, dacă au găsit vreodată o semită de oameni. Pentru că de obicei erau îngropați lângă închisoare. La 100 de metri lângă închisoare, tocmai construiau un bloc. Și făceau fundație. Și l-a întrebat pe șeful de... Dacă a găsit cumva oase umane. Și a zis, da, foarte multe. Și era ceva ciudat la ele. Și el a răspuns, da, trei lucruri. Miroseau frumos. Aveau o culoare galben spre maro și erau foarte, foarte ușoare. Și l-a întrebat ce ați făcut cu ele. Le-am aruncat la groapa de gunoi a orașului cu pământul escumat. Atâta vreme. Cât Sfinții sunt la groapa de gunoi a orașului, nici poporul nu va merge bine. 
Parítele Justin I. Father Justin I. We say all year. Why? Ma rugat sa Gospod. He asked us. He asked me to translate this to him. Poporul grec are foarte multă evlavie la Sfinții Închisorii Comuniste de România. The Greek nation has great veterans for the holy saints from Ayut. Au făcut slujbe și în biserică se fac ce slujbă pentru ei. They made and they still make uh, night vigils. And I understand about in 20 monasteries last year on the 15th of May they made uh, night vigils for these saints. Sperăm că și poporul american să iubească. We hope that American Orthodox people will love them too. Pentru că răspunsul lor va fi imediat. Because the answer will be right away in the prayers. I'd like to mention something. Father told me just they say he himself participates. Because when they bury them, they bury them in the in the hill. And some then on the top of the hill there are buildings, and the bottom was the prison. So it was a was a hill. And they he saw with his own eyes how they excavate on the spot a person. And uh, they took the skull down from the dirt. Absolutely nothing, no no uh, preparation to uh, bury her preparation with oils or anything else like an uh, Egyptian mummification, no way. They just put the body in the ground and they found the skull like missing a bone in the back. You know, it was broken. But inside you can see the brain being preserved intact. There was something that it's absolutely out of ordinary. One of the first tissues which <coughs> had to be um, alterated will be the soft tissues. So that was a miracle that he participated himself and uh, we look forward in the day when uh, the Holy Orthodox Romanian Church will canonize these saints and uh, give glory to God. Good afternoon. Until then, când puteți, when you can, să spuneți Sfinții că nu ucenici și rugați să vă văzut pe Dumnezeu. Pray to this Marty saying, Holy Martyrs of God, pray for us. Să spun din experiență personală, tell you from a personal experience, că o să vă ajute foarte mult. And they will help you a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I will give the microphone to Father Aris. Well, Any questions? Yes, questions. Was Vitesh the worst prison? Yes, the worst. But how many were there total? I said uh, about 5,000. And, but, Kitinki Sura? Kitinki Sura was the only one. About 25 prisons. Yeah. And how does, so can you tell us like a smaller prison like Seaget, what was, what happened there? And how was that different? Uh, the most terrifying is uh, prison was in Pitesht because uh, the law there was the torture. Right. Uh, the next one was in Ayut. Uh, in, the, in the other prisons, they, they didn't uh, torture the physically very much, uh, the prisoners, but uh, the re-education has uh, a, a psychological uh, a part. Uh, and uh, every prison, uh, had her, uh, her difficulties. Uh, in uh, Siget, uh, uh, about uh, what I, I know, uh, they, uh, they used the re education, the, the torture, about uh, one year, uh, uh, just. Uh, today, there is a, a very big um, monument uh, there in, uh, in uh, Siget for all the martyrs, uh, the new martyrs in, in Romania, uh, but the, the most known because it, it has uh, all the relics, Uh, it's, a, it's a monument from uh, from Ayut. Can I speak in Greek? Yes. Kalitares, it's a Nika. Thank you very much for that I have a program that I have been working on for the last few years. I have been working on the last few years and I have been working on the να σας πω κάτι στα ελληνικά τώρα. Υπάρχει ένα καθηγητής πανεπιστημίου στην Αθήνα, ο κύριος Χαραλάμπρος Μπούσας, ο οποίος μέχρι τώρα 
έχει γράψει χίλιε ακολουθίε για χίλιου Αγίου. He is the most known uh, uh, Είναι το πιο γνωστό ο πιο γνωστό συνογράφος της της Ελλάδος ο κύριος Σαλάμος και αυτός έμαθε για τους νεομάρτυρες και έγραψε μια ολόκληρη ακολουθία μιλάμε για για μικρό εσπερινό μεγάλο εσπερινό όρθρο με κανόνες και παράκτηση των νεομαρτύρων, η οποία ακολουθεί πέρσι, 15 Μαΐου, όταν το 1948 έγιναν οι σλαβές των 150.000 νεών και τότε ο πατήρ, ο πατήρ Ιωστίν Πούργος ότι είναι, είναι, τα, είναι η γιορτή τους και πέρσι σε 30 μοναστήρια στην Ελλάδα γιόρτασαν τους νομάρτυρες από τη Ρωμαχή. Αυτό είναι πολύ συγκινητικό και ελπίζουμε ότι και στην Αμερική σιγά σιγά θα γίνει αυτό το πράγμα. Εγώ προσωπικά πήρα από το Αιούτ και τα πήγα στην Ελλάδα πάνω από 35 Αγία Λείψανα και τώρα έφερα για δύο εκκλησίες στον πατέρα Βασίλειο στην Σαραγώσα και στον, για, τον, για τον κύριο Νεκτάριο που έχει την εικόνα της Παναγίας στο Χαουάι και τα, τα, τα έφερα γιατί αυτοί έχουν ήδη έχουν μεγάλη ευλάβεια στους νεομάρτυρες και σας λέω παν, παντού κάνουν πολλά Θαύματα, βοηθούν τους, τους ανθρώπους και εμένα μου άρασαν τη, τη ζωή. Εγώ προσωπικά πήγα για, για σπουδές στην, στην Ελλάδα, για διδακτορικό και τελικά δεν έκανα τίποτε άλλο παρά να μιλάω για τους νεομάρτες. Ναι. Ναι, αυτό. Ε, με συγχωρείτε, το θέμα δεν το έφτιασα. Ναι. Είστε άξιοι επένου το ότι κάνετε αυτό το πρόγραμμα. Και εγώ ανέμενα να δω περισσότερους εδώ σήμερα. Αυτό που μπορείτε να το κάνετε είναι τα, να πείτε εσείς σε περίπτωση. Let's translate this because yeah. I didn't get anything. Okay. Επειδή οι καιροί που ζούμε είναι δύσκολοι, όπως θα έχετε ακούσει, και υπάρχει μεγάλη κρίση, όχι μόνο στην Ελλάδα, αλλά έφτασε και μέχρι τις Αμερικής, εκείνο που θα ήθελα να υπογραμμίσω το ρόλο της Εκκλησίας σε αυτή την περίπτωση. Γιατί η Εκκλησία πάντοτε σε δύσκολους καιρούς, έπαιζε το δικό της ρόλο, το πνευματικό και βοηθούσε αυτούς τους αδύνατους οι οποίοι είχαν την ελπίδα τους, την πίστη τους κλπ. Εάν το κατορθώσουμε, νομίζω θα είμαστε υπερήφανοι για αυτό το ρόλο. Ευχαριστώ. Δεν ξέρω αν... Το καταλαβατε εσείς. So the, the synopsis of that was, first of all, there's a hymnographer who's written about a thousand activists, one to the new martyrs of Romania, right? Yes. And then, that over here is that with all the crises in the world that we have to emphasize the important role of the church in facing these crises. Is that a good, is that a good? Very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. okay, so with everything that's happening in the world, could this happen again? Could it happen in America? Uh, it happens, the, the, the worst part with torture, uh, it happens in Cuba, in China, no, in these days. In America, uh, happens the other part, the uh, psychological part of re-education. Uh, I mean, uh, when uh, the people is, is, uh, are frightened, uh, when they are in, in crisis, uh, if they, they have uh, uh, big faith in, 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 in God, they don't know what, uh, what to, to do. These martyrs, they have a lot of faith, they had nothing uh, of, uh, of, the, the material, of the material things, uh, only the, the, their souls, but they said, we have only our souls and, and we want with these souls to go in front of, of the God, we want to sell our, our, our souls. This is the, the message of the, the new martyrs. Uh, if one, one man is very happy with the, with the, 
Cum ziua puțin? With, with little, with little, uh, there is a, a big room for for him in the in the heaven uh, of uh, of God. Uh, when when uh, a man is not is not satisfied and uh, uh, asks from from this world very much uh, things, uh, it, it, he won't, uh, won't be very very happy uh, neither here neither in the, in the other life. And the new uh, martyrs are examples for, for us that if we, we have faith, it's enough for us. Thank you. So, we want you to tell us about the icons you brought. Did you bring any CDs of your choir? Uh, it's a, a, a new choir. We have just uh, five months. Right. And they are, they are uh, from uh, high school. Uh, we hope to, uh, in, in the summer, to go in, in Greece to sing uh, there. Now we are in the, in the beginning, and I left uh, them <laughs> for two weeks to come here. <laughs> All right. And so, but, but then maybe, Father Octavian, why don't you tell us about the veneration of relics, and then we'll go upstairs and do that, and then um, we, can, we can return down here. I, I think it would be, so you're saying if we if we purchase some of the icons that you bought, it will help support your choir. Uh, now in Romania, we have uh, no, no, no support. Uh, we hope uh, in any support. <laughs> So we can, we can have, but tell us about the veneration of the products, please, Father Octavian. Uh, the best who will know about these things is still Father Father who, uh, in my understanding, what I know, he was visiting the San Luca Crivian right. icons for uh, more holy relics for more than 60 times, and about the Pedi Monastery is going very often. He is also, as far as I know, I know one of the translators, official translator of the Pedi Monastery. He likes Ingrid. Ingrid. In Greek, so he's uh, he's the best to know, and I'm gonna stay along, uh, next to him and help him translate. Now, but, I mean, my specific kumso kumso pachin. Oh, how did that be? Oh, okay, okay. So, what what I would suggest that it's we're gonna go upstairs right. after when everybody's uh, purchasing icons, hopefully. So, <laughs> we'll go upstairs and first. We come back downstairs. We'll take okay. long, right? Well, yeah, we're gonna go upstairs, and uh, uh, we can sing the Tuparin of the Saints in Greek or Romanians, or probably Greek better. And then after that, we're going to venerate the holy, holy relics. And uh, I think everybody could, after that, uh, thank God. Uh, just yes. the, the holy relics are the best, uh, uh, the, the best proof uh, of the resurrection of, uh, of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we hope venerating these relics someday, uh, our body to be holy relics, uh, and our soul to be in the, in the uh, kingdom of God. The, the command of, of our Lord Jesus Christ is to become saints. It's not, a, it's not a something uh, uh, that we are saying with, uh, with the proud. Uh, uh, we, we have to, to do everything, and not to lose our souls, as uh, uh, the new martyrs. Uh, and uh, uh, the venerating the venerating of the holy relics is a good start to, to change our lives uh, and to love more the, the God and the saints, and then we'll be together as uh, as friends in the uh, kingdom of heaven. Uh, I'd, I'd just like to mention a little, a little aspect. My good father, Aisio, Arsenio Papachok, and Lord Himala, I just found out a few days ago how many people knew about this. When was that period in Romania between the first and second Mondial War, and he had a personal company, a huge company, and he was one of the millionaires of Romania, and he had two Bentleys and two very good, two or three drivers, and in one night he came from one business, he was going to another business, and he stopped the car in the sky and he said, "If this sky is on this world, this is night, it's so beautiful." How is going to be in the next life? And he sold all the company, gave it to the poor, and he go in the monastery. So some of these saints, most of them, they are they're bright people who they did great in life, wonderful, and they leave everything and follow Christ. So thank you, thank you, Father Aris. So we'll go upstairs for a few minutes and come back down. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's great. Everybody's good with that. The elevator's broken, I apologize. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
so turn off. So maybe it's easier. Let's turn. If what do you mean?